What's up guys? Prius is parked in Seattle, Washington. We're gonna take you around the city with us to show you what we do and what we eat. Hey, we're Brandon and Alyssa. We saved $30,000 so we can travel for a year. For the first part of our adventure, we've decided to move into our Prius for an epic summer road trip from San Diego to Canada. We have no itinerary, no idea how far we'll get, and no clue what we're doing. All we know is we plan to go until one of us decides, here's good. We are in Seattle's International District, going for breakfast at a spot called Fuji Bakery. Ooh. All right, we got three things. The egg salad sando, a beef curry breadcrumb delicious bowl and a matcha masala, which is like a donut filled with matcha custard. This egg is perfectly cooked and this bread is just like cloud fluffy. It's a super creamy uh, filling in there. The bread is like sweet and fluffy and it's soft and creamy. It's just a perfect egg salad sandwich. It was just called beef curry, but it's in this amazing, shiny, crunchy, doughy thing. I cannot wait to see what is inside of this. Oh my god, I could eat this every day. This is better than the egg salad sandwich. I was kind of skeptical on this. Uh, oh my god. We might need to go back and get another. <laughs> the outside is sweet and crunchy. Not like too sweet, but like a little sugary. The inside is spicy curry beef. It is so bomb. The bread is like tough, but like in a good way. Brandon will be able to describe this better, but this is bomb. Wait until you taste it. Oh, it smells like I'm in like a Japanese person's home and they are cooking curry on the stove. It's rich and soft and fluffy, but also like the panko crumbs on the outside are crispy. Oh, it's that times a thousand. Yeah, greatest thing ever, right? Holy cow, it's so rich, the curry flavor. It's very pronounced, but you can still taste the beef through there. And it's the vessel that it's in is just a perfect consistency. I thought that it would be too chewy, but it like the bread sops up that curry flavor. So each bite is better than the next. This is a matcha cream filled malasada, which is a Hawaiian style fried donut. It's a traditional cream filling, but they've added matcha to it. And you can see the matcha filling is just oozing out. My gosh, look at that filling. It is overstuffed. I am so excited to try this. Mm. Well, the matcha flavor is very subtle. Um, it mostly tastes just like cream, but the donut is perfectly cooked. Mm. Ooh, it's good. I'm not a big donut person, but if I was, this would be it. It's a great way to finish this breakfast. We stumbled upon this cool food hall, Uwaji Maya. Let's see what's inside. So we went to the poke spot inside this market. I got the dragon fire tuna. And it's supposed to be super spicy tuna poke. And he gave it to us for the side price of $3. This huge box of tuna is only three bucks. But it also looks very spicy. 
There's green onions, white onions, some black sesame seeds. Gojujang. Ooh, it's a gojujang. Sriracha and sesame oil. Oh, this is gonna be spicy. It smells like gojujang. Mmm. Spicy. Ooh. Oniony, spicy. Spicy, spicy. Ooh, it's great. The amount of onions, amazing. The amount of spice, amazing. The tuna is so good. Ooh, that is hot. There's also hunks of habanero in here, which is accounting for some of that spice. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, that's a habanero hunk. It is lighter fluid poke. <laughs> I cannot believe that they serve this to the average customer. <laughs> Our spice tolerance is ridiculous, and this is knocking me down a little bit. Hmm, but that pepper, the bite, it's so fresh. It's a good texture with that soft fish. Most people are not messing around. This is just a hunk of jalapeno with the seeds still in. Yeah, they don't even bother to remove them. <laughs> <laughs> this is hot. The spiciest, yeah, for it's sure. It's for sure the spiciest poke ever. Those are the best $3 that you can spend. So this is actually my first time having a Korean style hot dog. It's been on my eating wish list for a long time. Uh, we went with the potato crusted and they asked us if we wanted sugar and I've been told that it's pretty much mandatory to get sugar on it. Uh, they've made it fresh and I had it resting in our sauce pile so there's an amalgamation of different types of sauces on there. Cheese, must, mango, habanero, but let's just try it. Oh, you're gonna freak, dude. You are gonna love this. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. I was weirded out by the sugar. You must get the sugar. That's what American cuisine is missing. Everything we ate today had sugar sprinkled on it. <laughs> it's so much better. So the batter itself is like fair style corn dog. The hot dog in there, the sausage is really high quality, super flavorful. The potatoes just add such a textural situation to it. it <laughs> this is just, this is a modern work of art. Oh my god, look at how juicy that is. By the way, this was all $10. It comes with a quarter duck and a little few pieces of that famous roasted barbecue pork, fried rice and steamed veg, which today is broccoli. Immediately, you can just tell how juicy all of this is. Like, it is sopping with juice. The smell is amazing. And sometimes you get like roast duck like this and it'll be a little bit dry, but this is just pull apart. This is a win. You can tell there's no gaminess. All roasted flavor. It's so juicy. I'm gonna see if I can get a piece of this skin off without ruining everything. All right, I'm just gonna eat it like this. Chinese five spice, classic, traditional. The skin is awesome. That combination, awesome. Go ahead and put the pork. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. So much flavor. Soy saucy, sesame, roast pork. Mmm. This is my best.
fried rice I've had in a long time. So many peas, so many onions. Home of everything. All right, give it back. <laughs> this is not the hardest dish to find, but it is really hard to find it when it's this good. We just decimated that plate. Yeah. That might be the best thing we've like had all day. <laughs> that was excellent. Ten dollars well spent. Headed to Saigon Deli for a banh mi and maybe some egg rolls. There are like piles of stews and meats and rice dishes and vermicelli and they have fresh spring rolls. We got some fried ones this morning, but the selection is wide. I'm not really sure if I did it right. I it. stepped up by ordering some food. Uh, it's kind of like everyone first come, like you just roll up and let them know what you want. I'm assuming I'll pay when they finish <laughs> with our sandwich. We got a couple snacks too. We got a bun me to share and a couple spring rolls as well as a meatball skewer. Starting us off, meatballs. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it looked really good when it was in the warming case, so we got one. Mmm, it's delicious. It's just like a pork meatball. Sweet, sesame. Mmm. Mm. It's pork for sure. I want to say there's like some cumin seed in there. Yeah, there's like seeds, right? Some ginger. Maybe a little lemongrass. It is sweet. Definitely some fish sauce. But it's dense. You know, a lot of times like Thai, Vietnamese meatballs, they'll be kind of squishy. This is dense and firm, so it's all meat inside. Really good. I have also been instructed <laughs> that it will be much better with uh, chili sauce, which we brought our own. Shout out to Caranchi Chili in San Diego. He makes the best and spiciest chili crisp in town. So if you're in the San Diego area, be sure to look that up. Like we put it on everything. We've brought it with us. This thing was completely full and we've mowed through it. That's like a month's worth and it's very spicy. I'm gonna try it with that. We brought this chili everywhere. We brought it on a cruise. We brought it to Budapest. We brought oh, it to Paris. Oh, that is so much better. Yeah. Oh man. That is exactly what it was missing, but great meatball. Egg roll time. Cheers. Crunchy, warm. It's got the uh, mm. lots of mushrooms yeah. and what are your mushrooms? The noodles. They're like glass noodles. Great. That. That wrapper is perfectly crispy, golden brown, really well cooked. Lots Delicious. of mushrooms. Mm. Okay, now for the main event, since the appetizers are finished, we got the number one bon mi. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is overstuffed. She made it fresh to order with our toast and the bread. Uh, a light scoop of mayo, it looks like. Cucumbers, jalapeno, cilantro, pickled cabbage and carrots. <laughs> the elasticity of that bread is fantastic. That was a good tear. <laughs> oh my God, that's a bite. All right, you gotta take that bite. Brandon missed the first bite. Second bite. So bite number two. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Even better second bite. <laughs> we had our latest bomb me in San Francisco. This one has more sauce on it. I like more sauce. Uh, a lot more cilantro on this one too. I love the cilantro. Cucumbers are fresh. Carrots and cabbage are pickled, so it gives it like a tang. Uh, the bread is amazing, amazing. She toasted it to order right away. It's like just crunchy enough and nice and chewy. Mm. You're gonna love it. All right, Brandon's first bite. You can see the just fresh jalapeno peeking out. I'm gonna take two, I'm, I'm two biting. That was good. Mm. 
was aggressive. <laughs> that bread is the first thing you notice, and that's the most important part for a bomb me to me. It's like you get those crispy bits, it like crunches and explodes into a thousand pieces in your mouth. That meat is perfectly seasoned, lightly sweet. The pickled veg, it's a very light pickle on these vegetables, so you can still taste the freshness of them, which I really like. Just a fantastic banh mi. And in a world that you cannot find a $5 banh mi anywhere anymore, Saigon Deli in Seattle is doing it. I would imagine those things are like super slimy and slippery, so it is quite a feat to be able to catch that thing from like 30 feet away. We were just walking by and this gentleman hooked us up with a sample of smoked salmon. I missed the shot, but we had like ice chips and fish guts all over us. It was pretty cool. This is like the ultimate fast food because everything is pre-made and they just kind of heat it up for you. Mmm, car fruit. It's oozing with caramelized onions. It almost tastes like a French dip with like a hint of blue cheese and this bread is super crispy. Awesome, great little sandwich. Four bucks. Mmm, mmm. The roast beef is so good. The gorgonzola is like bitter, but with the sweet caramelized onions, it's like perfect. And the greens are really bitter. This is like my ideal taste of a sandwich. Bitter with a little bit of sweet. Overall, I didn't want to come because I thought Pike Place would be like a tourist trap, but it's amazing. There's cheap eats, there's cheap drinks. It's a must come. Yeah. Find some street parking a little further in the city, make a stop. It's epic for sure. Samurai for an omakase happy hour special. Club soda, whiskey, lemon, 
so much more bubbly. It's like champagne-y rather than club soda. Like you can feel the bubbles when you put your mouth to it. Also, they made this great lemon, which is insane. And this cute cup, so. It's not sweet at all. It's just club soda. Suntory whiskey, toki, and lemon. It's amazing. I forgot how smoky Japanese whiskeys are. Uh, supposedly, there are five times more bubbles than traditional club soda, and it tastes remarkably clean. This is the Torgozen set. $25. It comes with seven chef's choice, both rice and miso. Three of the choices are sashimi, uh, and then they include one karage. So basically, chef's choice. And we obviously asked for a hot sauce. So they gave us some house made hot sauce. I feel like I don't live in my car. So good. <laughs> the tuna just coats your mouth in like fish oil and in the best way. It's so fatty. And the hot so sauce? Tasty. The hot sauce is so good. So good. The fukuraki, the seaweed on top, goes so well with it. It's perfectly cooked. It's not overcooked in a mush. That's phenomenal. It might be an oyster. Oh! Somewhere between a mushroom and an <laughs> oyster. It's bomb. <laughs> The last step on our stairway to heaven. I'm so sad it's over. Garlic, <laughs> buttery, uh, a little spicy. The saffron bomb. The cabbage is delicious. Scallop first, tuna second, shrimp first. Brandon's a tail eater. A tail eater? When shrimp is grilled or fried, I eat the tail. It's like a spicy, delicious, salty shrimp chip at the end of your meal. All the oil and all the fat are in that tail, full of flavor, and they're crunchy. We are headed to Hidaya Makan which is a Malaysian place. And we tried to come up yesterday, but they had filled up the wait list at seven o'clock and couldn't even like put us on the list to On eat. Thursday. Yeah, so we are here, it is 4.50 and we're hoping to at least get on the list and maybe get seated before six. We are a few hundred feet away and it looks like the queue is around the block already and they're not even open. Been in line like 12 minutes. There's people seated. We're closer to the front. Uh, people are already getting food and drinks. So I feel like we're gonna be good. The line is also continuing to amass me on this. Very unassuming. So we just waited about 40 minutes in line. We got to the front, put our names in, and she said it's about an hour. So total wait time, an hour and 40 minutes from before opening. <laughs> so we'll let you know how long it actually takes. I am so excited. We got in line two hours ago. <laughs> we got the text. Let's go. So you order up front and they bring everything to you. We haven't been seated for more than like five minutes and we've already gotten our first dish, the melee peanuts. Oh, you're gonna like it. You get a lot of that kaffir lime, some fish sauce, a little bit of sugar, and some Sichuan chili pepper. Really good. In typical fashion, Alyssa has ordered <laughs> the hottest stuff that they have. So we've got some pickled serranos, some chili crisp.
first day place. <laughs> So that was some of my favorite chicken that I've ever eaten. Everything was fire. Everything was under 20 bucks. It was just excellent. There was all these like sauces and stuff to dip the food in. And every sauce was different. Every sauce was completely different. And the thing is the food was so well seasoned and so good that it didn't need anything. But just because it was there, you're like just dipping and like dancing around with like chopsticks full of meat. It was uh, incredible. Yeah. And the peanuts came like seconds after ordering, which was cool. Thank God, because we did wait two hours. <laughs> yeah, I would have waited double. I've, I for sure would have put my name on the list at 530 and waited until yeah, 100 930 for, for them to call our names. Yeah, my favorite thing was the uh, the roti wasn't my favorite, but the chicken curry that came on the side was intensely flavorful. It was insane. That was my favorite thing. Mine was the chicken. The best chicken I've ever had. Better than the steak? Uh, I loved the steak. The egg on top of the rice with the steak was amazing. I loved it all, it honestly. Was, yeah, it was incredible. 10 out of 10, go there. When you're in Seattle, go at 4.30, put your name on the list, wait two hours, and eat here. Like, Hands worth down. every second. If you eat nothing in Seattle, except for this, it's worth it. Let's go drink. Don't forget to subscribe to see where we go next.